Okay, today is uh, Thursday. I don't normally shop on Thursday. Sometimes I do, like today, for example, but a lot of the times uh, the wife works. I don't have the car available. Uh, today we did shop. I only went to like two sales, and uh, one of the sales I went late. Uh, I drove by. I had errands to run. I had things to do, and there was a line. So I was like, ah, who cares? <laughs> and I just drove by. I actually came by uh, at about 2 o'clock <laughs> or 1.30 or something. And uh, let me see what time it is now. Yeah, I must have got there at 2 o'clock. My wife was worried they were closing, but we went inside and we bought. Uh, I spent $66 on everything you see here. Um, I got these blue crates, and I uh, put these records that I bought in them. Uh, they were very inexpensive, a buck fifty a piece. They're bigger than record size. So, uh, I don't know if I'll use them for records. Yeah, see, they don't fit this way, but and they're big that way so I don't know if I'll use them for records um, they were a buck fifty each I bought ten for fifteen dollars and at the same sale I bought four CDs but um, unfortunately the, the two that I would have paid a dollar for they were only they charged me a quarter piece so I just said oh a quarter piece I just took some I didn't even look at them the two that I would have paid a dollar for were empty and I was just rounding out two dollars I'm sorry I was rounding out the dollar with quarter so I bought a Beethoven and a handle people do ask me for classical music, uh, although uh, very few people ask me and almost nobody ever buys it. Um, so anyway, I wound up just, for $16 I got some milk crates and I got uh, some CDs. At the second sale I went to, I spent $50 even. It, uh, they were charging me a buck a piece for stuff and I actually had $51 so they graciously gave me a dollar discount. I didn't really ask for more because they were kind of being rough. I, I was listening to them. Uh, talking to people who were asking for this and that and to give them hard case stories and they were like, yeah, sorry. Um, so, I figured, hey, I got a dollar off better than nothing. Anyway, um, I'll go through the records first. I got Jim Croce. I got a name. It's very, all the discs were clean. I looked at them. They're not like what I believe to be valuable or easy selling and stuff, but it, if people like Jim Croce, you know, he's, he's pretty famous, pretty damn famous. Richard Harris. Oh, I bought it because it has MacArthur Park. Uh, or it is Mac MacArthur Park. He's that famous movie actor. He uh, also put out a music album for that, you know, I guess. I didn't know he actually had a whole album. I thought maybe it was just one song. His famous movie was A Man Called Horse, and then I think it was The Return of a Man Called Horse or Man Called Horse 2 or something like that. If you've never seen A Man Called Horse, you should see it. It's the story of... Um, it's it's a, a Western story about this guy who... Um, basically gets captured by Indians and they kill everybody but for some reason they keep him alive and they make him part of his uh, of their tribe but they kind of pretty much humiliate him and make his life pretty rough there's even one scene where they they have this kind of uh, the the scene that they did this ritual that would make him part of the tribe and what they wound up doing in the movie was they took these eagle uh, talents and they put them literally through his nipples right and then they they raised them by ropes and they hung them there for a couple of hours. I, I don't. I would think that your nipples would rip off, but in the movie, his stood on and he became part of the tribe. Anyway, T for Tilleman, Cat Stevens. If I remember Cat Stevens, don't mess around with Jim Croce. So you got that cigar, Jim Croce. I think his one of his songs. Well, Time in the Bottle, but he was like, and he's bad, bad Leroy Brown. So he was, um, I guess, like a badass, maybe like a George Thorogood, but his vo their voices are totally different. Uh, bread. They had a best of bread, but it had a, a scuff on it, so I got In the Water's Bread. Anybody remember Andy Gibb? He was uh, one of the brothers of uh, Barry, Robin, uh, the Bee Gees. He's the Bee Gees' youngest brother. He went out on his own. Look at that shirt. I don't even know if they make shirts like that anymore. And that hairy chest. I don't even know if they make hairy chests like that anymore. People wax that stuff now. Um, anyway, he, uh, he was kind of disco-ish. And uh, he died really young. He had a problem with drugs, unfortunately. You know, there's only one Gib left. And uh, I guess, I, what is that, Barry? Maybe Barry. And he don't look too good, but whatever. They, they had a pretty good life, so whatever. Billy Joel, The Stranger. They had another Billy Joel one, a Glass House record, but it was scuffed, so I didn't buy it. Seals and Croft, Summer Breeze. Um, Seals and Croft's pretty good. They're like a 70s kind of rock band. All right. Um, CDs. A buck a piece. Adele 21, Cat Stevens, uh, Greatest Hits, Elvis number one, Paul McCartney, all the best. 
Bob Dylan and the Shadows of the Night, Elvis Ultimate Gospel, Ab, the Best of Abba. Someone actually asked me if I had a share. So I was like, well, normally I don't buy share. She doesn't sell too well, but I will buy a Best of Share. So today I found a Best of Share, uh, Best of Phil Collins, Hits, Jersey Boys. That should be an easy sell. Pippin, I buy this Broadway musicals for people because they like them. If I Can Dream, Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, uh, with Willie Nelson, apparently. Um, Rod Stewart, Best of, Four Tops, the very best, another very best of Cher. Uh, Camelot with Richard Harris, the guy that, in A Man Called Horse, that they hung from his nipples. Elton John, Greatest Hits, America, Greatest Hits, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor uh, Dreamcoat. What's his name? Um, Osmond was in one, sang in one of those. Grease. I have no problem selling Grease. Ricky Nelson, Reba McIntyre. The only two reason I bought this is it's the best of. People ask me for country. I think I could sell that. Dean Martin. Um, his Frank Sinatra, his very best. Platters, Forever Gold. Best of Donna Summers. She has um, a bunch, like, I don't know if you've ever heard I Feel Love. That's like classic disco song. Linda Ronsett, Greatest Hits, Very Best of John Hall and Daryl Oates. They uh, should be remembered for the ones that, the two guys that sang She's a Bitch Girl and She's Going Too Far, blah, 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 whatever. Um, the Very Best of Elvis, Whitney's Greatest Hits, Fleetwood Mac, Greatest Hits, Michael Jackson, Number One, Bruce Springsteen's Greatest Hits, Dean Martin, Dean Martin, Saturday Night Fever. Anybody remember this? I remember like um, people just driving around with that album blasting, you know, like uh, Jeff Talking, blah, 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 and that's the Bee Gees again. Uh, Motown Legends. I think probably the Bee Gees did every song. Nope. Boogie Shoes, uh, KC, and then David Shire and the Tramps and, and someone else. Motown Legends. Motown Legends Volume 1, Volume 3. I got a feeling I'm missing Volume 2. Best of Patsy Cline. Clapton Chronicles, which would be his very best. And the very best of Burt Backer. That's it. That's all I got today. Uh, nothing's going on tomorrow because it's Friday. I'm just going shopping. This weekend, uh, I hope not to have to sell on Saturday, but the wife might have to help the market. If, if, the, if we do, it's at Park in Clifton. Not Jubilee. Uh, the other one with the tank. I can't remember where, what the name of it at this particular moment in time. Um, hopefully I can shop Saturday. Sunday, uh, I am um, rooting on good weather, and I believe it's going to be good. So I should be at uh, Kearney. Look at that bug. Get out of here. All right. I should be at Kearney. Um, if you want to see me. Quick shout-outs to all my friends. Uh, I will say Naz. I will say AJ. Uh, AJ's, uh, I don't know if he's doing, I think this is AJ's birthday, uh, weekend, so if you want to wish him a happy birthday, you could do it on his channel. Uh, I'll put a link to his channel, um, at the end of this video, uh, we can go Daryl, Daryl's on vacation, so, uh, he, you know, he may not, whatever, <laughs> I don't, uh, a shout out to myself, what the hell, right, I deserve one every once in a while. Uh, a shout out to a good weekends and no rain, and that's that's about it. Oh, Angry Steve, I'll throw one in for you, and uh, might as well do uh, Derek the Redneck and uh, Steve the Gambler and those guys, and and everybody else I miss, you know, whatever. Shout out to you.